how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and everything you're trying to accomplish, it becomes into reality. Welcome back to the channel. So today what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the car down because I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it back to my shop because the problem here has been that um, when I get out of work, sometimes I don't have the energy to keep on working on the car. So now that I have space at the shop, I'm just gonna go ahead and tow it back to the shop so I can go ahead and finish putting the uh, the engine. So I'm gonna take the engine today and the uh, engine hoist back to the shop. So that's the purpose of me letting you guys know what's going on right now. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So yeah, stay tuned, okay? I'll see you guys in a little bit. How you guys doing welcome back to the channel i'm hoping you're having a wonderful day and everything you're trying to accomplish this year it becomes into reality today is day four or day three i think and we're actually going to install the engine i don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow because we still got to go underneath the 350 and disconnect the dry shaft and because we're taking the whole thing out Right here, we're taking the engine and transmission together, so we have to disconnect the transmission from the bottom. We're, I'm almost done, I already unplugged all the wiring, all the uh, hoses. So, the next thing we're gonna do is go underneath the car and uh, start uh, unbolting the transmission so we can go ahead and pull this baby out today. I'm gonna try, them, I'm gonna try to do my best to do it today. If not, it'll probably be tomorrow, put in the new engine on remember after i take this one out i gotta check what the clutch looks like if the clutch is better than this one i'm gonna have to switch the clutch because i don't know what that clutch looks like but i have to do uh some part swap out so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys okay all right so i'm underneath the car right now so next thing i gotta do is uh drain the fluid out of the tr uh, transmission unbolt everything unplug everything so the transmission can come out. So I'm trying to uh, go ahead and uh, take the transmission and the engine together since I'm also replacing the, uh, the throw out bearing. So this is what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse when we start working on this car, okay? All right then. As you guys can see, I already took out the uh, the exhaust, the dry shaft. 
All right. There you have it. Uh, these 14 millimeter bolts right here to take the uh, bar link, the center link bar, whatever. Those 14 millimeter bolts are pretty stuck in there, so it took me a minute. So that's what I'm doing right now. So let me show you what I'm doing next. What I'm doing next is uh, I'm gonna start unplugging the transmission. So I'm doing that right now. I'm about to go ahead and start doing it now. I'm gonna start unplugging the transmission. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted, okay? All right. guys so back to the taking the engine out of the 350c so if you guys are trying to get that uh that alternator cable wire down there it's hard to get it through the back so just disconnect it from the battery from your positive battery as you can see i already disconnected mine so there you go it's out so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the the water the heating hoses from the back of the engine one of one of them's right there on the side as you guys can see, and the other one's right there. You just follow it, and it's right there. You see it? I gotta take those two out. And uh, this is part three of removing the engine out of the 350C. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, if you guys don't know, I bought this engine for 200 bucks right there. So this engine right here smokes, and it's the bow stamp seals. If you guys don't know what that is, Google it, and then you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. But so this, this engine's going in on here. And also we're taking the transmission out because we are going to replace the uh, throw out bearing. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying today's content. Uh, if you have made it to the end of the video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification on to get notified every time we drop the video. And uh, the reason why I have the car on the shop right now is because the engine hoist wheels, they suck. The, the front two, they get stuck in my driveway. So it's hard for me to push the engine back or forward. So that's why I brought it here. As you guys can see, the floor right here is very slick. So it's very good. It's better than my house. So hopefully today we uh, take this engine out and tomorrow we'll drop the, the other one. But after, before we do that, remember we have to check the uh, clutch, see which one is good and which one is bad. So we can decide whether we're gonna use the same one or go with the new one, we, we don't know yet. So I'll keep you guys posted on the next video, okay? Thank you to all the subscribers that have been subbing out to the channel, okay? And with that being said, I'll see you guys. I'm out, peace.
Mm-hmm.